My father used to be so active, and now he just sits in his chair for long periods of time, tapping his hands. It's so annoying. Dad, that tapping, it's irritating. Please stop. Dad, cut it out. Just watch TV quietly, please. Repetitive behaviors occur in some people with dementia. They may do this because they are not able to remember recent events or actions. They might also fixate and repeat words or gestures to soothe themselves. A repetitive behavior could also be considered as an attempt to communicate an unmet need, anxiety, unspent energy, or physical discomfort. As with problematic behaviors, try to identify the underlying causes to effectively reduce and manage its occurrence. Dad, you've been sitting here all day. Let's get you up and go grab a snack. Dad, come keep me company while I work. Have a seat. Here are your stacks of magazines for you to work on. And I will put on some music while we work. Okay. Once you've identified the underlying causes of a repetitive behavior, you can begin to manage its occurrence. Remember that not all repetitive behaviors are bad, especially if they're not a source of disruption or puts your loved one at risk. Here are some tips on how to manage repetitive behaviors. Search for what might be causing the behavior. Are his basic needs being met? Ensure that your loved one is not hungry thirsty, in pain, or in needs to use the restroom. The repetitive behavior may be an attempt to communicate his needs or feelings. Do not take aggressive steps to stop the behavior, especially if it's harmless. Do your best to ignore it, but be certain to only ignore the behavior, not your loved one. Place a gentle hand on your loved one's shoulder, arm, or hand to redirect his focus to you and away from the behavior. Provide reassurance and try to include your loved one more in your daily routine. He may simply want to feel engaged and included.